back. We back. Episode two. What's going on, guys? What's Your boy up, Drizzly yo? Bear here. What's up? What's up? What's Drizzly up? D Bear oh. and Drizzly Stage D. the Father coming to you with One Piece Chapter Eleven O Five live reaction, and we're very excited. So, uh, we had an interesting chapter last week. An interesting reaction last week. We got the Kuma punch that we really, really, really were hoping for. Uh, that very emotional punch that connected so beautifully. Ooh, my God. If you God. know, you know. Oda cooked with that one. Um, and Luffy's missing. And what's going on? What's about to happen? Well... Let's get right into it. One Piece chapter 1105. Title says over here, The Height of Folly. Okay. Peak. Ooh. Peak piece. Okay. Prepare for a full fleet bombardment. All Marines are to return to their vessels immediately. Justice is blind. Bwah! So there's a panic. These are Marines leaving. Like I care. Uh uh uh. Oh, sorry, we got a we got a load here. Hold on. Oh yeah, the Oda note. I, I found it weird that this chapter just started off like that without the. <laughs> Oda the was like, nah. But just I guess here. I guess the servers just are being here. overloaded. So hold on, let's get this done here. Let's not forget the Oda note. I went to Jump's New Year's party. Everyone was in great spirits. I'm feeling super pumped now. Let's give it our best. Oda. Nice. New Year's party. That must have been dope. Oh, hell yeah. What? Chill. Okay. Back to the chapter. Let's do this again. Prepare for a full fleet bombardment. Justice is blind. All Marines are to return to their vessels immediately. Hurry. So we got the Marines on the run. Probably from that buster call that ended the last chapter, which I'm not really too concerned about. Not but we'll the see. Hats, at least. Yeah, for sure. Even though Robin's getting her her trauma now, her no, uh, PTSD is activated. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, what just happened in the center of town? Hell if I know. Just do as you're told. So these guys let me know what's going on. Saint Saturn, Admiral Borsa Admiral Borsalino. Please hurry back to the ships. Okay. Kizaru and I shall remain on the island. Damn, not him speaking for Kizaru. Begin the barrage as soon as possible. What? But go. Ooh, yes, sir. Looks like uh, Borsalino made his decision. I thought you were only after my life. Isn't that enough to end this madness? Why are you doing this, St. Saturn? So this is uh, Apple Gramps, Vegapunk, pissed off. Isn't it just me that you want? Isn't that enough to end this whole fiasco? The most cutting edge research of all the scientific fields can be found on Egghead. Destroying it will set us back an entire century. Please call off this buster call, so he's pleading. He's pleading in front of Spider Saturn here. Spider Demon Saturn. Kizaru, I'm begging you. Looks like Kizaru can't even barely look at him, bro. He's not doing well emotionally, this guy. You could tell he is so mm -hmm. torn. Not a word. Ridiculously. You might still be hiding something. Perhaps something that could hinder the world government. Either way, we have no need for further advancement. But what about humanity? Damn, not Saturn telling <laughs> Vegapunk that he's useless and he's not trusted. <laughs> you could have something that could destroy the government, which he probably does. I hope he does. He better have. Well, that reminds me. A ship left this island yesterday. You should know I gave the order for it to be hunted down. Uh-oh. What? It was natural to assume that some passengers might have had access to information about the Void Century. Damn! Not the ship full of citizens being shot down. 
Nah, Saturn is not playing Heck at all. No, bro. He nah with ease. A warship was sent to be safe. The a warship was sent to be safe. The dead make the best secret keepers, after all. Oh, okay. A warship was sent to be safe. The dead make the best secret keepers, after all. So he was just teasing Vegapunk's mm. emotions on that one. Look at his face. Distraught. Distraught he, is the perfect word. And then he gets mad. Look at his the next panel. How could you? They knew nothing. None of them committed a crime. You broke a taboo, Vegapunk, Saturn says. Just like Ohara. You dug their graves by digging into the past. All to satisfy your selfish sense of curiosity. You should have kept your greed in check. Ooh, this is the Saturn versus Vegapunk mm -hmm. verbal joust, verbal battle. And Vega, but Vegapunk is, he is so upset, bro. He is so hurt. He's so betrayed. And Saturn gives zero, zero fucks about Vegapunk right now. Totally dispensable. <clears throat> and that's crazy considering how smart and useful Vegapunk is. Right. But that's all right. Saturn... The good old say the government does not deserve Apple Grants. Pacifista units remain on the island. Ooh, we got some PX3s over here. Everyone else, begin evacuation immediately. This is ship 54. Pre preparations are complete over here. Ship 21 is also standing by. Oh, okay. Preparations are complete. Over. All right. So the Marines are leaving. To escape the Buster Call. Got some pacifistas there. We got... Oh, Sanji. Here we go. Quick, while Vegapunk's got their attention, hightail into the vacuum rocket. Go meet up with the others at the back entrance of the Labo Stratum. Right. All right. So we have um, Frankie. We have Sanji. And uh, what's her name? Atlas, I think it is. Yes, Atlas. Atlas. Atlas, Atlas right. Uh, Karen Kuma. Okay, so we got Kuma. Where's Bonnie here? I don't see Bonnie on this she's panel, not. but she's in the next panel. But Sanji, what about Vegapunk? Don't worry, Bonnie Chan. I'm not leaving without him. All right, Sanji. Okay. Nami-san, it's me. What's your status up there? We made it to the back entrance. It's so noisy, though. What's going on at your end? Ooh, let's see. Labo Stratum. They're going to do a buster call. Yeah, this island's finished. This is the back entrance. This mm -hmm. is where Nami is. Yep, here we go. Is Luffy okay? He's with you, right? I lost track of him, but he'll be fine. Just fill me in on what you guys are doing. Zoro's still off dealing with Luchi. Oh, no. <laughs> Zoro's still off dealing with Luchi. Ah, oh, here we go. We sent Jinbei over to get him so he doesn't get lost. <laughs> so she assumes he's going to beat Luchi, which, you know, he is. Not the Jinbei being sent over to make sure he's Gucci. That I'm was worried playing, sick no. about Stella. Get rest while you can, Robin. All right. We got Chopper, Robin, Usopp. Thankfully, Lilith didn't fall down with the others. When Luffy, Frankie, Bonnie, and her were trying to save to move this. Oh, okay, so thankfully, Lilith didn't fall down with the others. When Luffy, Frankie, Bonnie, and her were trying to move the Sunny. Brooke's gone to help her. Why are we cursed to go through multiple ball buster calls? <laughs> <laughs> Not the ball buster calls, my bad. Why are we so cursed to go through multiple buster calls? Let's hurry and get out of here already. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Man, I already know the Zoro haters are going to get at Zoro for not being able to beat Luchi so quickly. Ridiculous. Zoro stocks are down this chapter. Oh no. Alrighty. We just gotta see if Oda gives us some sweet Zoro uh, action. That robot was destroyed by Kizaru. What? Sailing a ship on land is a simple matter. When you have my aid. Okay, so sailing ship on land is a simple matter when you have my aid. Your amazing bones will make it to the back entrance in no time. Alrighty. Oh, there goes Buruf. Okay. Word. <laughs> we can glide seamlessly 
Now the island's clouds are frozen. Oh, not the frozen clouds. What an idea. Your powers are remarkable, too. Let's go. I saw Brooke. Brooke is freezing the clouds Let's to make go. it easier for the ship to, to go. Coming Yo, ho, ho, I'm flattered to be praised by the world's greatest genius. By the by, how are we going to stop when we get there? <laughs> Oh, I hadn't thought of that. We're going to fly off the edge. She's like, yo, she slapped him. Not her slapping, bro. Oh, my God. Isn't there anything we can do? I'm all ears, little son. The barrier around the lava stratum. Okay, here we are. Here. Okay, so the barrier around the lava stratum is still up. Clank, clank, clank. We'll have to blast through. Begin the first volley. Turn the future city and the central science lab into dust. Wait, some of us are still boarding. Watch out, the pacifists are on the move. Damn, it's about to begin. They're about to fire the bus call right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, pacifists are blowing up what? What are you blowing up? What are you shooting? What happened? Huh. Okay. Apple Gramps. Egghead. Oh no! It's all crumbling. Oh no! What a panel this is for me and for Vega Punk, bro. Look at this. I love this panel. This panel's powerful, bro. Like this is his creation. But this is him. This is everything that he created and worked on, and and it's just crumbling right in front of him, man. And he's just distraught. He got betrayed by Saturn, by Kizaru. Like, it's so sad, bro. This is emotional. Damn. I, I really don't feel like Kizaru is going to stick through by Saturn. I ain't going to lie. I feel like Kizaru is going to, like, on the low low, when we least expect it, Saturn is about to, let's say he's about to drop Apple Gramps. And Kizaru literally staring and looking at it, and all you see is... That will be a moment that Come I would on. that his his true loyalty would be tested. Bro, he was there from jump. Yeah, straight up. I mean, there's a reason why Oda included him in the backstory. He was doing the the Nika dance with Kuma and um, with Apple Gramps here, so you could see that he kind of had mixed emotions. Even in this chapter, he couldn't even look at Vegapunk with a straight face. Like right. you see, he was hurting. So potentially. We have a, a potential twist with Kizaru betraying Saturn, but we'll see. Let's see. Sometimes it's not as cliche, right? No, you're right. Okay, so the destination of this capsule is the Labo Stratum. Let's go. Be quick, vacuum rocket. They're in the hyper capsule. What is this thing? It's crazy fast. Frankie's loving that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Kuma's right. I think that's Kuma right there. Yep, that's Kuma. His chin. That's his mm -hmm. chin. He's he's facing back. He's knocked out. Poor Kuma. The approximate journey from the Labo Stratum from the Fabrio Stratum. The approximate journey from the Fabrio Stratum. Zap. Whoa. It's thirty-two seconds. Amano Murakumo. Ooh, not the light sword. Kizaru's on the move. What did he do? Oh, nah, fuck. he split it in half. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. And that goes. Right down, right down to the to the tubing. It's well as well. It's just the spinneroonies. Right through. Easy. Oh man. Kuma's back there. Okay. <sighs> So that's them getting decimated in the air. Kizaru, that bastard. I'm coming, Bonnie-chan. Oh, Sanji stocks. Mm -hmm. Pasifista units, says Saturn. How suitably ironic. Fire your lasers. Kill Bonnie and Kuma. Damn, not while they're in midair. You threw away your life so that your daughter could live. And now her life will be taken by your clones. Daddy! That is a crazy statement. Wait, what is happening here? Is that Kuma again? 
Is that Kuma Bonnie. again grabbing Bonnie just out of sheer will to protect her from death? A fitting fate for a squirming insect. Grab, total mm. grab. Your struggle was truly the height of folly. Ah, the height of folly, of mm. stupidity, of dumbness, silliness. Bonnie, when I hear you, I become, oh, excuse me, excuse me. <clears throat> Bonnie, when I heard you have become a pirate, I couldn't help but dwell on the worst case scenario. Is this Vegapunk thinking, thinking to himself? A pacifista won't hesitate to shoot you if the Navy commander, if the Navy commanded it. If a pacifista won't hesitate to shoot you if the Navy, Navy commanded it, commanded. They may look just like your father, but they don't know or care that you are the daughter of their progenitor. So he's explaining to her, these pacifistas are trying to kill you. They look, they look like Davy, but they're not Davy. Mm. Hey, isn't this straw hat? Oh, <laughs> they go Luffy. I'm so stuffed, I can barely move. Seize him, quick. He's an emperor. He's a Yonku. Bro, it's over. He's refilled. He got, he got his one up. We failed to neutralize that escaping vessel. We have to report this to Kizaru. He has to know that they're heading for Egghead. Someone else is on their way? Who? We failed to neutralize that escaping vessel. So the vessel that Saturn told Applegrams that he destroyed, that, that really pissed us all off earlier in the chapter, was in fact not destroyed. Because what? Is that a Navy ship? Mm-hmm. It definitely says Marine. Where? Oh, no, I was looking. Oh, yeah. I was yeah, looking yeah. on this side. Oh, yes. I think this is the close-up of this. In which it is the Marines. This is, a, this is the Marine ship. Right. That was chasing the escaping vessel. But, but why are they saying they have to report it if they're drowning? All right. The escaping ship did not get destroyed. And someone's heading for Egghead. They're heading for Egghead. Mm. Who? Who stopped this ship from getting destroyed and is heading to Egghead? That they have to report this. There. It's a crew? You think it's a crew? Mm, I, I mean, I know we saw Blackbeard's ship leave... Nah, oh, a couple chapters ago, heading for Egghead. Right. You think it's the... I mean, who could it be? The Grand Fleet? The Grand Fleet? The Straw Hat Grand Wait. Fleet? Wait. Mm. Wait. Oh my we need God, some Grand so Fleet, bro. We so haven't seen much. the Grand Fleet that they established right after um, Dress Rosa. Right. Right? And... and Luffy said, if we call upon you, I mean, the news, the news of what's going on at Egghead and, right. and the news of Luffy being the Yonko and the Emperor and causing trouble is, has been broadcast. So the Grand Fleet must have heard. And maybe they're on their way. Maybe it's the Grand Fleet. I mean, who else? The Grand Fleet does make a lot of sense. It really does. Unless it's the Bonnie Pirates. Or Blackbeard Pirates. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe. I, I want it to be the Grand Fleet. We need to see them. I think this is a perfect opportunity for Luffy to solidify even more so his Yonko status by showing how influential he is and, and the people he has. And maybe the Grand Fleet will be even even grander. Word. And he's going to be like, I don't remember recruiting all you guys, but I guess if that's okay, you know, like Luffy's going to do some stupid shit like that. That's a prediction. We'll see. We'll see. But this is a kind of a short chapter, I think. No, nah, super short. I think real. it was short. It wasn't bad. I love the fact that even even after Kuma getting banged up, he still has enough will to protect Bonnie to continue to protect her. 
But he needs to stop eating these shots, bro. I, I need him to live. I don't know, dog. I need him to live. And Kizaru's on the loose. Uh, Sanji's going, you know, coming to save Bonnie. But, you know, Bonnie has a savior. Bonnie has a white knight. Her deity. And I really feel bad for uh, Vegapunk this chapter. Him seeing his creation, his his world crumble, and uh, how disgusting Saturn is, bro. Like, he doesn't care. He trying to get these guys killed. All of them. Buster Call and everything. Literally at the precipice. So whoever's coming to, to, to Egghead needs to stop this Buster Call. Luffy? Psst. It's over, son. Once Luffy gets up and... Steam it off. Steams just... it off. Exactly. <clears throat> it's round two. Game time. It's round two. He's coming after everybody. Nah, but why is Oda doing this to us and he's not showing us Luchi versus uh, Zoro? Well, maybe we get that next chapter. We'll see. We'll see. But you're right. We could have used at least a panel or just two some, of them. Just flashing. Zoro just looking something. Some... Anything. Word. A panel slice. So, but, you know, right anything. now it's Sanji stocks. Right now it's Sanji stocks. So, well, I mean, Sanji thought he was going to do something, but, you know, <laughs> Kuma's like, I got this. I got this. <laughs> uh, yeah, and there's no break next week. So, excellent. Right on schedule. Three chapters in a row without a break. Beautiful. He Which him. probably means that the next chapter is going to be a break. I kind of feel like this chapter is a setup for the next one. I mean, obviously, like this was uh, a flow chapter, like to flow one major incident, which was the punch to another major incident. This is the in between two major points. I'm expecting this next chapter to be gas, especially if it's going to be a chapter before break. Right. We're going to have some gas revelation, probably find out who's heading to Egghead. Or maybe we'll see Zoro versus Luchi and what else is just going a snip. on. I, I just we saw everybody bit. else for the most part. So, yeah, man. One Piece chapter 1105. Let's go. Wrapped up, packed, shipped. What he said. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching the review. And next week. 1106. You already know. Catch y'all later. See Saves you guys. the father out. See you later, guys. Drizzly D Great Bear, night. the last buccaneer <laughs> out. Peace, guys. <laughs>